Hello. Yes, it's all part of the scam. Of course it is. You see, by banning Martin Selner and Brittany Pettibone, it enhances their street cred, their credibility. You like them, you, you feel sorry for them, and uh, then you support them. It, it, it's quite simple what they're doing, but it's effective because it fools people. They're the victim. The all-powerful state persecuting them. It worked a treat with Nick Griffin, with Adam Walker and Clive Jefferson, uh, Dawn Charlton, known as Butch Dawn, and Peter Cheney, all supposedly, supposedly being persecuted by the Stasi police state when, in fact, they were in on it, right? And I think Griffin would now admit, no, he won't do it publicly, but he'd admit that to himself or privately. That was the case. So the same's happened with... Um, Martin Selner and um, Brittany Pettibone. That's what they do. It's the same with Tommy Robinson. Attack him, persecute him, ban him off Twitter, whatever. Or make him look funny where he asks lefties a question and they can't answer it, right? And he's dead clever. There's a few of them doing that of late. But a lot of Southern does it. She's another one does it with the uh, the feminists. I ask them a question, Islam or feminism? And they can't answer it. It makes um, Lauren Southern clever and funny. And you like them then, like I say, if you like them, then you believe in them, you support them, you gorge down then. But anyway, you see, what happened to Martin Selner's Defend Europe? Captain Pugwash sailing around the Mediterranean, supposedly stopping migrants crossing from Africa to Europe. What happened with that? Well, exactly died of death and no doubt the 50 odd thousand pound went straight down the Mediterranean. Where's the ship, the sea star? What's happened with the money? How many refugees did they stop? You see, what the powers that be do, they create a distraction. Defend Europe as an example. And then after a while, it dies of death, but it keeps you all occupied, right? Keeps you at the end of your seat watching uh, the videos and whatever on YouTube. Then there's a new one, get them banned. And then all the spy satellite channels on the internet, whether it's Mark Colette or Red Ice Radio, or sadly even dafties like Richard Edmonds, start bumming up their praise. How they're being persecuted. We're living in a tyranny of police states. We're living in a police state, Mark Collett. How come you've still got a job after doing all these videos with Dr. David Duke, former KKK Grand Wizard or whatever as the press would say? How come you've still got a job? What do you do for a living? Because if you had a, a normal 9 till 5 job, you'd be sacked by now. So who's paying your wages? Well, we know who's paying them. Hope not hate. So what our enemies do? They keep creating a distraction. Give you another example. Lauren Southern, rape refugees. She'll do a video on rape refugees. Let me ask you this now. Here in the UK, who's affected by rape refugees? No one. Or if they are, you can count them on one hand. So the issue is that not only don't reach the millions of people we need them to reach, right? They're not interested anyway, even if it did, even if they managed to come across their videos it still wouldn't bother them because it wouldn't affect them. It's the same with banning the baker. If you don't wear one, then you don't have to worry about being banned. And given that 99.999% of indigenous Brits don't wear them, it won't affect them. Female genital mutilation, again, who will that affect? No one. So all these uh, distractions and side issues, they keep the pantomime and circus going. Tommy Robinson and all the rest of them at the uh, free day of freedom. If there's no freedom and there's a tyranny, Mr. Robinson, how has you managed to assemble that big screen? Because I'll tell you something now, when Nick Griffin was riding high with the BMP, he'd have never been given permission to assemble that. Never, right? Never. It wouldn't have happened. So where's all this tyranny of the police state? A load of nonsense, right? But that's what's happening here. The banning of uh, Martin Selner, Brittany Pettibone, whatever. It was Lauren Southern as well. I'm not quite sure, but whoever was banned, right? It's to enhance their street cred. And it keeps you all occupied, all on the internet. Oh, terrible, terrible. But all it's doing is staying within the movement, it's, it, it, it's not breaking out of the movement and even if it did, the public's not interested. Like I've said in a previous video, 
when I stood in Kensington and Fairfield, the main issue in the ward, in the constituency, was migrants, asylum seekers, whatever you want to call them, dumping rubbish. Because that affects everyone's lives when they come out the front door. There's rubbish everywhere, there's rats everywhere. They're not interested in rape refugees or the sea star sailing around the Mediterranean, Captain Pugwash style, stopping migrants supposedly crossing to Europe. They're not interested or in female genital mutilation or ban the baker or, or Tommy Robinson talking about uh, there's no freedom and they're not interested and that's what ha that's what's happening here our enemies create sideshows distractions that even if you were to break out the nationalist if you can call it that playpen 99.9% .9 of the public's not interested and this is what they're doing right I'm a bit late in making this video regarding Martin Selner and Brittany Pettibone because I've, I've obviously been occupied with the uh, election in Kensington and Fairfield. But trust me, let me tell you now, the public's not interested in Paul Joseph Watson talking about some feminist beached whale or Stefan Molyneux talking about cultural Marxism or feminism. They're not interested. Can you see what's happening now? Okay, thank you.